guys, this is Patrick Hall with F-Stoppers. I'm Lee Morris. And today we are bringing you the newest Critique the Community, which is all on adventure photography. Nice, but what is the next critique going to be about if people want to sign up right now? I don't know, what do you think? Well, I was thinking that we should do something a little bit more specialized and difficult, and so I think we should do underwater photography. Patrick and I have tried underwater photography for years and we have failed time and time again. What's the chance we're gonna get high-rated <clears throat> images for that genre? Very low, there's a very low chance, but um, uh, whatever you guys have, I mean, this could be fish, this could be models, this could be products underwater, we're, we're gonna be oh, kind of broad. interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you'd like to join, head to the link in the description and you can uh, start submitting your pictures for the next critique. Let's get to this one. All right, so normally the very first image is the highest rated image. This is the highest rated image, but I've been told that this is Mads, who is one of the F-Stoppers writers who gets tutorials for free. So he's not going to get a free tutorial. The next picture is gonna be a free tutorial, but let's go ahead and rate this one. Where do you think this is? I have no idea where this is. If I had even been there, I probably wouldn't recognize it. Um. Three, two, one. I'm in between a four and a five on this. I feel like the photo by itself isn't like too incredible, but then you put that little person there on the right and it just makes it for me. Yeah, I love little people in big scenes. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like, I'd love to know what post-processing he did on this because I mean, I feel like there's big brushes of like dodging and burning yeah and it's it's cool it's definitely a look that's very popular right now but it's also kind of we, we were just in the mountains of alaska and, and this is the right time of day to shoot but it's very contrasty so much of the image falls in shadows and there's so much highlight but that's kind of what makes it interesting mm -hmm. i'm not saying you should go away from having dark shadows in your pictures but it just doesn't feel like all of the tones are potentially there I agree, but I feel like that's kind of what this picture is all about. It's it's not, I didn't give it a five because I feel like there's some things like maybe the sky that I'm just like, eh. It's not flawless, but a super, super cool shot. The community gives this one 3.55 stars. So I've been told that Mads actually got the first and second highest rated image. So this is the third highest rated image and you are the one who actually gets the free tutorial, so congratulations. And then we also have a little man up here. Yes. Kind of similar. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, the man the man on top of the mountain makes it for me. Yeah. Um, are you um, ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Four? I, I wanted to give it 3.5. I like the previous shot better. Yeah, I mean... This is this is okay. Look, I think it's a good image. I just I it drives me crazy when you can see the stars and then you can see the light still on the horizon. It's it's one of those things where you want it to look more like it's in the middle of nowhere. I want it to look a little more natural, and I just know shooting landscapes with Elia, this sort of scene would never really exist. Oh, really? You think that there's too much light pollution to see? Well, and there's like light lighting. I mean. It just feels like this is some really radical blending where you have something where it's completely at night. Mm -hmm. And then what is this? Is this the Milky Way going through the frame? Mm -hmm. It's just a little too much for me. I, and I'm this crazy one who, <clears throat> I feel like sometimes I just like regular stars. Every time the Milky Way is dropped in there, I just feel like maybe if that's where it was in, in the time of year that you were there, then that would be cool. But I just feel like the Milky Way just takes a lot of these pictures into this like dreamy fantasy world. So so your critique of this is that this is too obviously fake for you. Right. So I just don't know enough about the Milky Way and this part of the earth and light pollution to know if this is possible or not. I mean, I'm looking at a photograph that you took here that looks crazier than this and you can see the stars and you can see light pollution as well. So you tell me how fake your picture is. I mean, my picture, actually, my picture is not that fake. Well, there you go. There's so a tutorial we did on the f Starbucks channel with this photo, but I blended in some things to make the color scheme the way that it is. But if you looked at the natural photo, there really was light pollution there and the stars. I just look at this and think 
this is like on a whole different level. And and maybe it's the perception of it. Maybe mm-hmm. if it really did look like this in real life, it's still not something we're used to seeing and it kind of falls in the world of fantasy. And I admit the picture that I have here kind of falls into that. It's like a strange image. Well, whoever took this, let us know in the comments on F-stoppers of this critique. I also how feel much like of this is actually I don't fake. really like this foreground element either. I feel like it if you went right over this hump, maybe it opens up and it's just mountains. And I think I might actually mm, like I, that better. I've been going back and forth on that. But yeah, interesting critique. I'd like to know how fake it is because the thing with the Milky Way star shot is you can literally put it on anything. And I don't really understand why photographers don't put it on everything. If you're, if you're okay with replacing the sky in a landscape photograph, why not put the craziest sky you can all the time in there, you know? I, but. Yeah, who knows? And well, this is also adventure photography, which I'm not exactly sure the constraints of that. But I love going to different airports and seeing like the Eddie Bauer ads, where in many cases they're not—they don't feel like the highest level of photography, but they—they're a lot tighter. They're not these wide landscapes that shows the Milky Way and the person's tiny. I, I like this, but. I just feel like if this is what we're going to see throughout this critique, I'm probably going to be a little disappointed. All right. Well, community gives this one 3.38 stars. Next up. Ooh. See, this is more in the direction I was kind of going. It's a really well done shot. I didn't expect it to be water sports. (laughs) Are you ready? Three, two, one. I have to give this one a four if I give the last one a four. I'm on the higher end of a 3.5. I'm kind of a 3.5 on this. And to me, me and I know people are going to get mad at me, but I just feel like it comes down to the models on this. I feel like this shot is done so well. I love the lens flare on the left side. I love the pose of the actual guy on the, uh, what's it called? Is it wake skating or something? I can't really tell what he's doing, but yeah, I guess he's... But he's not holding onto a rope. He's surfing or something behind the wake. But then the people on the boat look like so normal and frumpy and just kind of like. I agree. Like it look if you if you block out these people on the right, it, this looks like the most incredible ad. And then when I see the people sitting on the boat and the dude with the tattoo, I'm just like ah, uh, it it becomes more of a snapshot at that point when it's not. This photo is so awesome. Yeah, I wonder how they shot this like. <clears throat> I don't know. Is there a rope that's been photoshopped out and he's behind them? Is he on a chase boat? Is he on a tube? Like, is he just from shore? I mean, is this shot telephoto enough to where it feels very, it feels feels fairly wide. wide. Yeah, yeah. Um, Yeah, I mean, I think the time of day and everything looks great. I just wish, you know, the photographer had said, you have to look exciting every second of the shoot because if people were acting, whoa, it's crazy, you would have a better energy on the boat. Yeah. Community gives it a 2.5 star rating. What? 2.5 stars? Yeah, our community's crazy. (laughs) All right, I think I'm ready. Three, two, one. Three stars. I feel like this is a solid image, but I'm not blown away by it. Once again, when we're looking at the subject matter, it just kind of looks like a tourist in a t-shirt. It doesn't look yeah, like if a... if you zoom into these guys, I mean... <laughs> it, <laughs> it looks like a guide with some guy from Oklahoma who's just... There, there to get the t-shirt. beers, man. Yeah. yeah, and he's got like the... Sorry if you're from Oklahoma. The to-go McDonald's. That was the first McDonald's. thing that popped up in my head. If yeah. you're from South Carolina. <laughs> um, I mean... I, I love I, the, the composition, though. I, I, I mean, yeah. all the lines and the lighting the looks nice. Light. Yeah, the time of day is great. Yeah. Community says 3.1. So do you think this photograph is better than the last boat shot? No. I don't either. Whoa. All right, I think I'm ready. All right. Three, two, one. Three stars, you give it two. Um, I just... Yeah, I mean, I'm in between a two and a three on this. There's so much execution that went right here. Like the crop is really nice with the lines. Yeah. It's very simple. Obviously this person was shooting very telephoto in a way that they could capture this exactly the way that it is or it was a happy accident. But I just feel like the post-processing is a little flat. The way he's dressed is not the way you'd probably have someone dressed for an adventure photo. 
you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's like right after this, he's going to get on a... a uh, <laughs> what's the animal we just saw with the hump on it? <laughs> what is that? A camel? A camel. Damn gonna... it, I ruined my own joke. So you think he's going to get on a camel? I'm just joking that he looks like super casual like the guy on the camel. That's all I'm saying. He doesn't look like... Like his pose, he looks like a freaking extreme athlete. But then he's dressed like he's going to go back to his desk job designing apps for the Android. You know, it's like or he's, he's not... he's a professional jumper. <clears throat> He's gonna go down and have a beer. And he just didn't care how he dressed all because he did no, the that, same thing. That is what times. it is, but I'm just saying from a photography standpoint, right. it's just not the best. Uh, yes, yes. Styling. So for that reason, it just kind of feels more casual. It doesn't feel as professional of a shot. I still gave it three. Like if I saw this on someone's portfolio mm -hmm. on their website, if I hit the next button, mm -hmm. would you expect the image to be great or not so great? I would hope that the next image would be significantly better than this image, but I would not, based on this image alone, I would not have high hopes for the next image. And that's why I don't think this would be in the portfolio. In the portfolio. Okay. Two stars. I'm not offended by that. 1.9. All right. We're not crazy. Hmm. Okay. Three, two, one. Three stars, you give it two again. Um, which shot do you like better, this one or the previous? This one. There's there's more t going on here. I feel like this guy. Well, there's less going on here, but there's 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 more to take in from the photo. I can yes. I can read the previous one instantly. Yes. And then I've lost interest. This uh, one, I feel like there's more to look at. I don't like where the camera angle is. I feel like I want to see this lower and to make it feel a little more extreme. But I bet if you did that, you'd just have that pure white sky back there. Maybe, but you know, we can, we're in an age of compositing and fixing <laughs> that and putting it you, all You might as well put the Milky Way up there. I just don't know in this genre, and maybe this is my bias going into this, I don't know that I view this as like photojournalism. I guess it certainly can be. I'm viewing this more from like advertising and something you want to put on your website and be like, whoa, that's really cool. Yeah. And a lot of these photos are kind of like what Red Bull does. They might fall into extreme sports, but there's still that lifestyle element to it too. And those pictures are unbelievable if you haven't <coughs> seen the Red Bull Loom stuff. Right. Their rock climbing photo would be world class. Yeah, I feel like the lighting on this is great, but I feel like the composition isn't super interesting does it feel pose, really magenta to you isn't that interesting uh it's a little magenta that doesn't bother me too bad what do you always complain about the green when it's not magenta the enough the magenta i would almost like desaturate the mountain and make it like a little more mm. rocky looking this just feels like the white balance is off or something or it makes me think that they they brush something in yeah something about the right side of the frame makes me feel like it isn't as strong as it could be all right, let's see what the community gave it. 2.69. Okay. Do you want to guess where this is? I'll guess Iceland, but I don't know. Ready? <clears throat> Three, two, one. Three stars. We are one star apart for a lot of these. I just feel I love this image. Mm -hmm. This image, I think, could be a three, maybe even a four. It could be a three? It could be a five. What? It could be a three or a four. I just, I'm not a fan of this post-processing. I feel like everything's nuclear. This looks like a, a Peter Lick that's been printed on metallic. Yeah, and he's the world's most successful photographer. I, I think this image has a ton of potential. There's very little I would critique outside of... Post-processing, it's just a little too crazy for me. The green of his hat is just neon, his backpack. Yeah. It, this looks like a metallic print. Somehow they made the image <laughs> feel like that's what I'm looking at. Uh, I agree with you. It might be a little over the top post-processing. I'd, al I'd also like to see the model pose a little bit better. It, you know, it looks like he's kind of slouched over. It looks like me working on Premiere all day. Yeah. I would just, I'd like to make it feel like a little bit more exciting than the pose the model's giving me. I can but see that. I feel like I would uh, love it's to okay. see some sort of black and white conversion of this. I would really too. dodged and burned certain areas. I feel like this has so much tone in it. Yeah. That, and then you might notice the person less, and then when you notice him, it might have a little more impact. Okay. 
Well, the community gives it 2.88 stars. They agree with me. Hmm. Some kind of fishy going on with that uh, mountain in the middle, the lighting, right? Or the moon's out. I mean, you kind of have this weird highlight on the far left, but then I guess it's not on the far yeah. mountain. How, how could there be light lighting both sides of the mountain in the middle, but not be lighting the mountain on the right? Easy. There's a cloud up there that's blocking the light. We've seen that. I and mean, you've had weird light come through clouds. I mean, it's possible. I don't, I, don't, I don't see any clouds in that sky, do you, Patrick? How is the moon lighting the tent so evenly? That's the real question. Har, 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 har. Ready? Three, two, one. Three stars. We agree, finally. See, I feel like the, the sky, the stars are a little more subdued here. It's not like, let's put the Milky Way in there as well. And in fact, this probably could be closer to out of camera you know we were just in alaska when you see the northern lights like this i mean unfortunately we didn't see it like this but we have seen this it's a pretty remarkable sight and in many cases you can do a 10 30 second exposure and have something that is the base frame of this mm -hmm. at 30 seconds you might you're gonna have the stars start to show up you're gonna have the northern lights burn in and depending on the moon and you know whatever's going on in the scene this doesn't this doesn't pull me out as much as some of the other nightscapes that we've seen where it kind of feels like they're compositing a lot to make it something that it wasn't. How do you feel about the white balance in the tent? Mm, I don't know that it bothers me. I guess it, it could be really blue or really warm. Like you could go It feels way. very strange to me, the fact that it's perfectly white. It feels yeah. like it should be really warm. Because, you know, it should be like a candle or a fire or an old-timey flashlight. But I, I would assume it's being lit by some new white LED. And it kind of pulls me out of the, the shot. Yeah, I almost think you could potentially make this even stronger by using a smaller light source. I know your initial idea, and I've done this too, I've been guilty of it, is to light paint the whole tent and make it just really pop. But mm -hmm. maybe if it was something smaller, like a headlamp, lighting just part of the tent, or you had more of a, a gradation, you know, where it's like bright in the front and then maybe even some light spilling out into the landscape. Yeah. There's some little things you could do that I think would make this really a little yeah, more dynamic. Yeah, that, that's another very good point. I feel like some, some light illuminating around the tent that's created by the tent itself. And you can see there's light like right under the tent, but something about this just doesn't feel natural to me. And I don't know... I, the main thing is just the way the mountains lit on both sides. I don't know how that's going and on. I think you could really make this a little more commercial. Maybe not this wide because this is an extremely, this is more like a landscape photo. But I'd love to see a guy properly dressed out there viewing <clears throat> the northern lights. I think that would help tell the story a little bit more than these people that are not viewing the northern lights and sitting in their tent. True. Community says 3.31. A little bit higher than us. Is this guy going to take that board out there? Dude, boogie boarders today are extreme, man. Like when I was a kid, boogie boarding was the lame thing and you were a surfer when you became an adult. Yeah. You, you go on like Vimeo and look up bodyboarding. It's crazy what people are doing. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not quite as lame as it used to be. All right, you ready? <clears throat> I'm having a hard time with this one. Three, two, one. I gave it three, you give it two? I'm right in between the two. Okay. I feel like composition and, and what's going on in the frame is super exciting. I just, I kind of read that this guy is apprehensive of this. And <laughs> I think I want for this genre him to be ready to go, you know? And I don't know what that Yeah, what, what, what does that look like? Maybe there's like more people and they're all walking out there. Maybe he's climbing up the rock like he just got done writing it in. I don't think that's what you do. I don't know, I just... I think he would die. It's, it's something about it just seems, and maybe it's just too wide. I mean, maybe, I mean, one, that's crazy. If you zoom in and just cut the wave off, it looks like he's about to get knocked down with a... I don't know, there's something about this that doesn't make me just... I don't love the image, but I still think it. it's a solid shot. If it's in your portfolio, no big deal. Community says 2.32. Everybody's harsher than me today. I don't know why I'm feeling so nice. Wow, look at this. Let me see this. That's pretty cool. 
I'm gonna spend the night there once. I wanna know what's going on with this. By spend the night, I mean stay. Photographer, dude. This looks like like a Street Fighter II character with a camera. She's dressed to impress. It's like if Kill Bill took place in an ice <laughs> cave, like that would be the assassin. I know. All right, ready? Three, two, one. I'm in between a three and a four. I was too. I could it's kind of weird. Like, the, the, sorry, I just spit all over the screen. It's kind of weird that the, the, I got it. I got it. It's kind of weird that the model is, once again, now we have like the opposite problem, right? Before we had like the, the slobs in these incredible locations, like the dude, you know, drinking the beer on the camel. And, but now we've got the, Kill Bill Assassin. Who's like styled too well? <laughs> it just it doesn't fit for me. Like it doesn't it doesn't look like this is a real ice cave photographer. This looks like a model who and it's probably not. That's a it's, tough one because <clears throat> I would always err on the side of styling too well, you know. But maybe you just don't go into outdoor stores and see this kind of gear all that much. Maybe, yeah. maybe in the women's section you do. I don't know. I don't shop there as much. So the other interesting thing that you've done is you just you just zoomed in and made it a wide shot rather than a vertical shot. And I mean, this cave is unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this before. And we've been in ice caves before, but this is crazy. I'm surprised that this is even safe to go in. This looks like it's... It looks like, you know, if icicles fall off your house and kill people. I know. This looks like a death trap. But even zoomed in at as a horizontal image, this is, shot's incredible. Yeah, I mean... Would it look <clears throat> better if she was not in the process of taking a photo? It felt more casual, like she's walking through, or she's, like, looking up with a camera in her hand, but she hasn't, com like, completed the task? Maybe. It just feels a little too posy to me, so that's why I'm being a little harsh, but, I mean, incredible location. Yeah, I think somebody would see this on your website and still, you get the ooh and ah factor. Sure. And 2.87. What? Can you believe that? Man, you guys are harsh. Sorry, Sean. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, two stars. I feel like, you know, it's a good first start, but I don't think anything about this image is actually that in focus. It's kind of weird what's in focus. It's like, it looks like his knee is in focus, but then his head is really not in focus. Kind of strange. You would think his whole body would be in focus if panned I mean, correctly. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you can definitely see the whipping effect on the trees and stuff. Like maybe. And I, and I, li I like the. The concept, I like the overall idea. It's just this particular image. You know, it's just the composition, the lighting, the pose, the blurriness. Yeah. It all comes together and it's just not that good. I mean, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm cropping it in and cutting off most of the left side of the frame and just going much tighter. And I don't know if you like it. I like it a better. little. I do like it a little it better. It's kind of... Like but I, the shot looks blurry to me, so... Yeah, you can't get past that. But I think, you know, going a little tighter sometimes gives you like a interesting crop or something that makes it... A little more commercial, a little more in your face. Yeah. And we have a 2.0 on that one. Hey, they agree with us. Whoa. Would you say this person is properly dressed? In the little that you can see. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna let this one slide because oh. I can't see it at all. Um, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Really? So you give it nice. four? I was feeling three, but I was like, I've been kind of mean in this. So okay, you have been an asshole. Yes. Um, maybe I'm breaking my own judgment on what's what here. Does it bother you that the dude doesn't seem to be quite centered? Am I crazy? He seems, well, that looks a little better. Now he does look centered. Maybe a little to the left? Yeah, I don't know that that bothered me. I don't know if I like this, like, purple wash that's on the left. I, I feel like it's not on the right, and so my, my, my eye keeps going to the left side of the frame because the tonality is a little different. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's an interesting picture for sure. I just, I'm not like in love with it to give it a four. I'm if not. you could be lower and kind of foreshorten this a little bit to mm -hmm, where you're mm -hmm. still not shooting down on them, but you're not also shooting right at eye level, mm -hmm. maybe somewhere like 20 feet lower. Mm -hmm. Do you think that that would be better? 
I'm having different. a very hard time imagining it. But you could put the person in the frame yeah. a little higher. You could make it. And then shoot more of the glacier rather than the flat part. Just a little bit. Like, I'm not I'm not saying being even 10 feet above the person. I think that would be too low. You'd be shooting kind of at them. But yeah. just something a little bit lower. And I don't know how this was taken. This was a drone or this is somebody that far away and they just stumbled upon this guy. This seems way too planned. But then maneuvering in an environment like this. Yeah, I didn't think about different. the drone. It could just be taken with the drone. Community says 2.7. So, do you admit it should be three stars now? Um, maybe. Okay. Ooh. All right, I'm all set. All right. Three, two, one, four stars. We agree. I mean, this is beautiful to me. Yeah, this is really, really cool. beautiful. And I just feel like there's so much going on with the lighting, the... Uh, tonal change, uh, the color shift, you know, from the bottom to the top. Um, I assume that it's sunrise and he is standing in front of trees which are blocking the sun from him, but the sun is hitting the opposite side of the river over there. If not, if this is done in Photoshop or whatever, like well done. I think the, the sun is just way off just starting to light the tips of the mountains. Mm -hmm. And if you've been in that situation, like a lot of the foreground will be in shade for hours, you know, depending on what's to the right of the frame. All right. Do you think the birds were in this frame, or did he put them in this frame? Well, I was debating about, on this image, it almost looks like these clouds look like Photoshop mistakes, but I think they are just really faint clouds. I almost feel like, especially this bird on the far right, he's perfectly sitting in this bright area. I don't mm -hmm. know if, if that bothers me, but I do kind of wish there was the slightest more interest going on in the clouds. Not so that the sky was more dramatic, just to remove this like smudgy <clears throat> look that I see. Yeah, I agree. I agree. There's some weird smudginess going on in the sky. Which... It's almost like they look like paint, like brushes, you know, like dodges and burns or eraser marks. Mm -hmm. But it could also just be these faint little clouds, but just something to get rid of that, you know? Do you see blooming around the top of the mountain? The top of the mountain, I like weird that. haloing from shadow highlight pulling. Um, yeah, something something fishy's going on with the mountain, and I feel like when I zoom into the guy, he looks he looks good to me. Uh, love the pose of the guy. What is he doing? He's oh, he's putting tackle on his pole. Yeah, yeah, it looks like he's got maybe a fly rod and he's like pulling the yeah. the leader out. Um, cool shot. Let us know let us know how much is photoshopped in this because uh, it was done pretty well. I've noticed a few, couple things, but it's pretty cool. Pretty cool shot. Community gives it three stars. They three do stars. not like it as much as we do. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Like, this is... Uh, my wife and I, you guys or my are, wife and me. You guys are adventure people, right? Yeah, I'm trying Clearly, to. Katie's I'm dead. trying to remember where were we? Oh, this was this was in Denali. Denali. Okay. Um, I'm going to critique this as I have the other ones. I don't think the models are dressed appropriately. No. It's kind of weird that one of them is wearing a purse. Yeah, it's like a fashion <laughs> bag. It's like they didn't think through the shoot. Yeah. And then she's got like the, uh, the mom socks pulled up. And then I've got the frumpy pants and uh, the camera. So I, I guess I, I haven't rated this though. Yeah. So. I, I give it in between a two and a three yeah. because to be perfectly honest, I see so many people put pictures that are worse than this on their website. Um, but I, I cannot suggest you put this on your website, but it, it's not the end of the world if you put it on your website. Are you going to put this on your website? No. Oh, okay. I mean, I took this photograph. I think it has a lot of potential. Do you even have a website anymore? I don't. Really. <laughs> um, I think if you just had the right people in there, this is like pretty cool like it's a great scene yes and yeah but the photo is not a snapshot considering i was just like stand there yeah and i happen to be on the other side of a cliff yeah community did not rate that one oh uh, bummer 
But oh, all right. we jump right in, back into it. <laughs> We're dragging the weeds on this one. All right, I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. See, I'm in the technicality <clears throat> here. This could be a snapshot. Uh, it is a snapshot. I mean... This is the definition of a snapshot. This is the definition of a snapshot. I mean, this can be taken with literally any camera, any person. There's, there's nothing you don't think this in is my a mind. Tighter, like this is on a, a normal camera. It doesn't. To me, it doesn't matter if this was shot on a hundred thousand dollar Hasselblad. I mean, this is. It's, it's a snapshot. It's, it's overexposed. Not good. This needs lots of work. <clears throat> yes. What would you suggest they do? Don't take a picture right here. <laughs> Get a correct exposure. Get another model. Make sure the model's posed correctly. Dress the model better. Take off the <laughs> the personal flotation device. <laughs> Are they like sweaty already? Is this like different colors? I don't know. It just it just feels like an iPhone snapshot of like, hey, like somebody's running a race or whatever. It, it doesn't feel like a correct exposure to me. Let's see what the community says. <clears throat> 1.1, you're right. Oh, man. Wow, Look this is that. really interesting. Look with cave. with the, the waterfall in the background, that's crazy. This cave seems a little more safe to be in. Yes. I guess they've traded out death icicles for super slick rocks, but. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, all right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. I'm in between a three and a four. There's something about this that doesn't push me to the four and the five. And you know what I think it is? I think that there's too much light on the scene. And it's, yes, like I'm looking at the foreground and I'm looking at the right side of the foreground with the rocks. It's all strobed and it feels like it's kind of all strobed from the same direction. And so if you squint your eyes and look at this, it's hard to even tell that the opening of the cave and the waterfall is back there. Yeah. I would almost prefer it to be black on the right side. I'm not sure, I, I would need to see it. But I'd like to see a little bit more restraint in Photoshop. Now, I imagine that there was a lot of uh, compositing in this shot with different exposures and maybe different flash pops. I mean, look, look down here at the bottom where the water is coming through these rocks, like something fishy is going on with the lighting. That doesn't make any sense, right? Mm. It just feels to me like the flash is almost, <clears throat> like almost on camera, yes. maybe slightly to the right. And then you have some highlights spilling in from the outside exposure. Maybe there is some ambient behind the guy, whoever took this photograph, but with the strobe, it doesn't register as much. Because mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's some light over here too. And I like that. So looking at the rocks on the left side, you can see these nice reflections off the rocks that seem natural. It looks like they're, they're coming from the mouth of the cave. But then we're losing that on the right side with all this flash popping going on and it's kind of pulling me out of There's it. There's a lot of stuff now, I just said this was a four. There's a lot of stuff that I would probably clean up. Like if I go to the far right, there's some kind of weird twig or something. And all of this copper color in the middle of the little foreground waterfall I'd probably just make that white or get rid of it and clean it up a little it just feels like with the color there it, it pulls me out of it it makes me feel like are these copper pipes or those pieces of wood it kind of makes your eye think that the focal point is the rocks yeah. when it shouldn't be it should be the dude in the waterfall I also wonder if you could make the outside exposure I mean you can't make it darker because that should be the brightest thing in the scene but there's something there where the edge of this ice cave being so bright and then the brightest thing being the outside area, which is correct with the photography you know, exposure. I don't know, it's very busy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I don't know how you solve that. I think a big issue would be to lower the exposure on these foreground rocks and that would kind of pull you through the frame, but something's clashing here. So I think your three is probably gonna be closer. Of course I'm right. Three point, oh, thought that said eight. Damn right. Whoa. Now, talk about wardrobe. It's a good thing that guy's in red. You'd never see it. 
Man. Where is this? Feels like it's Scotland, Ireland, something like that. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Three, two, one. I go four on this one too. We agree. Um, not not loving the sky. But sky in general or the color? Maybe both, but maybe just the color. I'm not sure. But little, the lighting on the the peat or whatever it's called looks incredible. The fact that this dude has the waterfall behind him on the slack line or whatever. Crazy, crazy photograph. Um, now. There's this blue brush line right on the horizon where it's like the horizon's blue and then it transitions little, into this uh, magenta sky. It's a little, little fishy. Something fishy's going on with that. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the sky here. But what do you, what do you rate this image without the slack line and the guy on it? I give it two. two or I give it two. Like it's probably not even it loses two, two stars. I, I almost feel like with this image, you can just get rid of a lot of the left side of the frame. Yes. Prop in. Yes, I and agree. Even if you have the rocks just barely going into the edge of the frame, you've cut out all the ocean. Mm -hmm. I mean, it tells such a crazy story. You know. I agree. I, I think it's a better photograph if you crop in more. Maybe that's getting rid of too much of this top. I don't know. There's something there that, when you look at it, you're like, that guy's nuts, and your eye goes more towards him because. If you were to draw vertical lines all the way across this, the guy is kind of like in maybe like the 15th percentile of the frame. Yeah. But if you could zoom in a little bit more, it kind of puts him more towards like the third. Mm -hmm. I think that's a little stronger, but really cool shot. Yeah. Community says 3.0. They weren't as impressed as us. You've done this before, right? Oh, sure. I go to the local YMCA and uh, I, I won't even sport climb there. I don't like doing that. I top rope. Um, are you ready? <clears throat> yes. Three, two, one. Three stars. I feel like certainly cool shot in terms of what's happening in the photograph, but I just don't think the photograph itself is that strong. The lighting, I guess, is what I'm mm -hmm. talking about. Uh, you know, comparing this to the ice cave shot, it, it kind of feels once again like there's just not enough shadows going on in this rock formation. And I don't believe this was done with Photoshop. I think this is just how it looked. It's being filled so much by just yeah. the shaded light. Yeah, that it, it's just kind of. Uh, it's not. It's not the prettiest rock. No, so it's just not. the tone of it all, it's, it's, <clears throat> you're left looking at the majority of the frame is just this clay red structure. Yeah. All right. Community gives it 2.65. 2. This is interesting. So... <laughs> This is a really interesting photograph because by just removing something, I feel like you could make it much more interesting, but you know, then where's the, the uh, morality in that? I feel like the guy climbing looks awesome and then the guy belaying on top looks super lame. <laughs> so, uh, you know, if, if I was trying to put something on my website and it wasn't about what actually happened, I'd probably pull the guy belaying out and maybe I'd remove those bags up there and just have the dude climbing up the ice wall. Would you have him in a more reassuring pose? W who? The guy climbing. Because if you remove her from the top, it almost looks like he's on his deathbed. <laughs> like his arms down. It almost looks like his final. Because <laughs> you also have the pick that's like already up there. It's like he let go. It's like he gave up. Yeah, he's like, just hold on to me, honey. I'm going to rest. So I think if you remove her, which I was thinking as well, I think you need him with the pick in his hand about to go for the next reach. Yeah, you know, you're probably, yeah you're right. You're right. But we still haven't rated this. So. Okay, well, <laughs> three, two, one. I'm in between a two and a three. I'll give it a three. Yeah, I agree. Do you feel like the left side of the frame doesn't even need to be there? I think this image should be zoomed in a lot. I don't, 
I don't really care to see the sky at all in this. I, I want to see, I want to see the top of the glacier just a little bit, I think, so that you can kind of tell where they are. Yeah. But I don't, I don't think it needs to be so wide. It's pretty wild. You can see the bedrock underneath the glacier there. Like you literally can tell that this glacier is like 20 feet thick. Yeah, that's some freaky stuff. We, we just flew in an airplane in Alaska and landed on a glacier and I about had a panic attack. I was we were freaking the top out. Of Denali. Yeah. We were like one of the, the highest point in all of North America. So we're going to release a video soon where we and what's show scary you guys is that. When you have fresh snow on top, like you have no idea what's underneath you, you know? Oh, well, we point, we were like, what's that hole right there? And he was like, oh, that's a crevasse. That would swallow the entire plane if we. And Dude, this is too much. All right, they give us, the community gives it a 2.9. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, two stars, we agree. Um, love what the light's doing on the left side. Uh, I feel like it's weird having the kayaker in the shade when there's so much vibrant sun on the left side, it kind of, Pulls me out of the shot, makes it feel a little bit more like a snapshot than a planned out. And that might photograph. be what this is. I mean, I doubt this person had this kayaker go. <laughs> it's not like he came out with the photo shoot in mind. He just happened to be there. Yeah. So the question is, this is what you're throwing. What do you do to make it better? So what I would do, I'd have the kayaker out of the kayak, standing on the, you know, the bank, the bank on the left side in the sun kayak up on his shoulder looking into the water like he was preparing to get in i feel like that would be super interesting then i'd probably crop in just a little bit more show a little bit less of the right side of the frame see i'm almost thinking i like the light on the right too i think i don't like how unbalanced it is but if you could make this a vertical shot in mm. some way mm -hmm. and really like I'm, I'm seeing that too. Get yeah. rid of a lot of the left because it's too much, but mm -hmm. the light is nice, but it kind of becomes balanced when you have the shaded right and the lit left. And then, I mean, he's still probably not lit as interesting as he could be, but now it really plays up the river that he's going into. And I can't make a vertical crop on this, but I don't know. I just, I don't think there's anything important on the left side of this frame. I... Especially I might agree with you. Not, especially yeah. if you're not directing this. If you're just there yeah. and you're trying to make the best shot you can, yeah. and there's another kayaker coming down below, behind him, that would be the shot I would take. That's and maybe I wouldn't have taken it, but I would have thought in hindsight. And with shot. just a little bit of Photoshop, you could change the white balance on the kayaker and make him appear that he's not totally in shade. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like right now, he's just so blue, it feels kind of like a yeah. mistake. But yeah, interesting idea. Community gives this a 2.1. Does the saturation bother you any? It's a little, I mean, little it's, much. Yeah, it's a little crazy. All right. Is this the final we got image? Another, we got another... Uh... This is number 20. Oh, and you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to give away a free tutorial to somebody random. So let's make it number 20. Congratulations. <laughs> Our you, error. You won a free tutorial. Your, your winnings. Um... Okay, I'm ready. Um, three, two, one, three. Ah, so. This is probably the most photogenic photo that I've given it to in this critique. Yeah. And I think I, if I just, if you just clone out these guys on the right, I think now it's a three, like easily. It's like a solid, cool picture. But these guys being here, it just it. It takes a lot of, out of the image to me, especially the guy right behind yeah. his foot. So to me, I imagine this was taken at like an event. Sure. So I don't imagine that this photograph is a commercial photograph that's going to be used to sell something. I think instead this is kind of like a photojournalistic image of the events that happened during this competition. So for that reason, I don't like the people in the background either. It's like I want more people or I want no people. But having two people is kind of lame to me. There's three, maybe four. Whatever. I want to see like a group of people, not like a crowd, you know? But I feel like the lighting on this guy is so good. Mm -hmm. 
coming right through those trees and hitting them. I mean, that's pretty impressive. And then of course, comparing it to the other bike shot, this one's perfectly in focus and sharp and everything. I feel like it's a cool image. That's why I gave it three stars, but. Um, yeah, I guess that's just what it's being used for, you know? If yeah. it's event photography, maybe this is as solid as it gets. You're happy to nail this shot. But if here, it's for something a little bit bigger than that, something that you want to put in your portfolio and really try to leverage to get jobs, I feel like you're right. You want a crowd of people there going crazy, celebrating them, cheering them on, or you want nobody there and it looks a little bit more like he's just out in the wilderness doing a... Do you think the photographer could have moved slightly to the right and just cropped the people out of it? And then no Photoshop would have still been real. Potentially, there is something weird in the left trees. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's just more wood over there. That looks like wood, I don't know. Something's, I, I find myself going over there a lot too when I start reading this photo, but yeah, it's possible he could have been to the far right, but. Well, what did the community give it? Community says 2.78. Now, the big question that I have after looking at this critique is, did these pictures hold up for what you would say is adventure? Because there's a lot of extreme sports in there. Mm -hmm. Were there any images where you're like, that is what you think of when you think of adventure photography? I don't even know what the hell adventure photography is. I think David or somebody else told me to do adventure photography and I had to Google image it. Yeah. And then it was just like a lot of landscape photos with small people in them and I was like, okay. I've seen this genre of photography before. I don't think they have to be small. I mean, I feel like a lot of the Instagram crowd, the professional Instagrammers, this is kind of their bread and butter. It's them or their girlfriends or the two of them together in these amazing landscapes, but it feels like they're visiting, you know, or they're traveling and being adventurous. Okay. I feel like a lot of these pictures did not give me that vibe overall. And maybe I'm reading into the genre inaccurately. Well. I have never looked at people's pictures on Instagram before, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but um, sure, maybe maybe there's professional Instagram adventure photographers that these people could not keep up with. But to me, I don't know about the guy riding the bike over the log, like in a competition. I don't know if that's adventure photography as much as it is sports photography. But um, I enjoyed it. I felt like, I felt like, uh, a this variety. genre, yes, had a big variety and we weren't looking at the same photograph again and again and again. So that wraps up this critique, guys. Once again, if you would like to be part of the next critique, you can upload your photographs right away. Underwater photography, I'm, af I'm afraid to see these shots. They're gonna be bad, I'm sure. <laughs> Only because I've tried it and failed so many times, it's very difficult. I think it's the hardest genre of all photography. I will say that right now. Really? Shooting interesting, sharp photos that are well lit underwater. It's hard. I think that's the hardest thing. Maybe skydive photography is, is up there too, but I haven't tried that yet. All right, guys, if you'd like to check out uh, more free content like this every single day, head over to fstoppers.com and head over to fstoppers.com slash store if you would like to check out our full-length photography tutorials that you can win by submitting for this next critique.